Jews must die. Secular, affiliated, unaffiliated, religious, orthodox, reform, conservative. Jews on the right and Jews on the left and Jews at the center. Jews of all backgrounds, but if you're a Jew, you need to die. We're coming on the air right now with breaking news. At this hour, police are on the scene of a deadly shooting at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh. 11 innocent Jews slain in cold blood on a Shabbat morning, only because they're Jews. And when that killer ran into that synagogue, the Tree of Life in Pittsburgh, do you remember what his declaration was? All Jews must die. All Jews must die. That unbearable sight of Jews coming to synagogue to say Yisker to remember their deceased parents, standing in a kosher grocery shop, selling food to people who want to feed their families, gunned down in cold blood. Their crime? They're Jewish. Here in the United States of America, that nation that opened its doors for so many Jews and allowed them to rebuild their lives here as proud and dignified Jews. Jews from so many different backgrounds and walks of life, all found in America. And yet, it seems like almost out of nowhere, this tremendous sense of Jew hatred. We will be free of this blood-sucking parasite. Has emerged, spewed from the mouths of respected people, politicians, diplomats, professors, essayists, journalists, young and old alike. A congresswoman can get away with a statement. It's all about the Benjamins when she accuses American Jews of conflicted loyalty, of not being faithful American citizens. Jews in our country, the United States of America, have been shocked and devastated watching the massacres that claimed innocent Jewish lives for the singular sin that Jewish blood was flowing through their sinews. When there is Jew hatred in America, it doesn't only affect the Jewish people. It constitutes a danger for all American citizens because a world that has no place for Jews has no place for humanity. Stalin despised Jews, but he murdered 40 million of his own citizens. Hitler loathed Jews, but how many Germans were murdered in the Second World War? Iran, Syria, Hamas, Hezbollah. Hey Jews, but how many other people suffer under these regimes? It begins with Jews. It never ends with Jews. My friends, anti-Semitism is here among us. And as always in our history, we must stand up to it with courage, with dignity, decisiveness, and strength. The reason we are here today after thousands of years and after enduring so much savage suffering is because we understood that the most important quality that will guarantee our eternity is a commitment to the continuity of Judaism, to our history and our faith. Take a look at the Hanukkah menorah. That menorah which represents a candelabra that we once lit 2,500 years ago during the Second Temple in Jerusalem, still burns in millions of Jewish homes. Because Jews always understood, as long as we will embrace Jewish continuity and bequeath our traditions, our values, our lifestyle, our faith, our Torah, our mitzvahs, our Yiddishkeit, to our children, the flame of the Jewish people and the flame of Judaism will never ever be extinguished.